This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Thank you EA for providing me with the currency used in this video. In today's video, we're going to be purchasing the new house lot, Edgewater Key. I'm then going to take you on a tour of it. It's this house lot here next to the beach, so you've got a lovely beachside view there. You can purchase it for 750,000 simoleons and it will take 7 days to build or you can purchase it instantly for 2,000 sim cash, which is what we've done here. Just so I can take you on a tour of it straight away. Now this house lot is slightly different to the others because there's already a pre-made house on it. But you can still edit it if you want to. You can demolish the whole thing and rebuild a new house in its place. When you go to the house for the first time, you'll get a little pop-up from Valentina here. She is the architect who designed this glorious house. You may also see her appear around your town. You may also see the builder as well. I think his name is Sonny. I can't seem to find that information anywhere though. I may have just made that up. Oh look, she's actually appeared. So we're going to talk to her and become friends with her so I can find her later on. And while they're having a chat, I'm going to show you the house. I've put it into build mode because it's just easier to see it. There's so many bubbles and things that appear when you're completing sweet treats and stuff. All that stuff really gets in the way when you're trying to showcase something. And there's also less stuff on the screen when you're in this mode as well, so you can just see it easier. But this is a two-storey house, as you can see. I really love how it overhangs there, so you've got that little shaded area. Perfect for when the sunshine gets too much. But I really love that little garden area, I love all the plants there. You've got all the palm trees around it though, and you've got that little beach area around the side. It's a really gorgeous house. Let's take a look inside now, so let's look at the ground floor first. The front door leads into an entrance, which leads into the hall. In the hall you can see the staircase, there's not a lot else going on in here. But if we turn it around slightly you can see that there's a table underneath the stairs, which is probably one of my favourite things, that you can actually put items underneath the staircase. I know it sounds so ridiculous, but I was very excited when I first saw that. The door that they're chatting in front of leads out to the back garden. Let's go to the door on the right hand side first, which leads into a bedroom. So you've got a lovely bedroom down here. I like all the natural colours in this room. There's a nice ensuite bathroom as well. I say bathroom, there's a shower in it. And on the other side of the bedroom we have a sort of dressing room, which I really like. I would like to see some different types of wardrobes in the game. I don't think these ones really go with this decor, but I really love the little seat there and the mirror. I really like the layout of that room. It really would be great if we could see the walls though. I'd want to see what the front door looks like. I'm assuming there is an actual front door and not just the archway. Let's take a look at the outside now, closer up than we saw it before. You can see the lovely archways down the side here of the building. So they lead into a corridor, which I really like. I like how that looks. I think I would have liked it if it didn't go into a corridor but led into a room. I think that would have worked better because then you've got a reason for the archways so you can sit there and be in the shade but also sort of be outside. But you can't really sit in a corridor. Before we look at those rooms, we're going to take a look at the kitchen first. I really love this. For some reason, my fridge is already broken. Let's repair that. I haven't even used it yet just bought the house. I really don't get the whole paying to repair items anyway. I don't think they should break to begin with, especially if I haven't used them. I'm not going to try and point out which items are new because I have no idea. I get so confused between this and The Sims 4 because it might be new in The Sims Mobile but it's not new in The Sims 4. But next to the kitchen you've got this really nice dining room. Love that table. One thing I'd probably change is moving the door so you don't have to walk through the kitchen to get to the living room. I think you could walk through the corridor to get to the living room. So this is the living room. The wallpaper is available in the game now once you have built this house. So you don't need to worry about changing the wallpaper because if you change it and you decide you don't like it and you want to change it back, you can still do that. The next room is the downstairs bathroom. I keep saying bathroom. It's a shower room. I always say bathroom. It's just habit. 
but there's a shower in there, a sink and a toilet. And next to that there is a meditation workout room I suppose, there's a yoga mat in there. There's a massive plant, that is huge. That is the downstairs, let's take a look at the upstairs now. You can go upstairs by clicking on the arrow at the bottom of the screen to go up. This leads us to a really nice landing. It's very simple, I like that. The upstairs is smaller than the downstairs. We're going to go into this little corridor here that leads into a study. So there's a computer desk in here, a bookcase. Again, a nice simple room. I definitely don't mean simple as a bad thing. I think it looks elegant. The next room is a bedroom. I'm assuming it's meant to be a child's bedroom because there's an art desk in the corner, but it doesn't look very child friendly to me. I think it looks more like a show home. They do have their own ensuite toilet though. I would either make this into a full on child's bedroom or into a guest's bedroom because right now it seems to be wanting to do both. Let's head back out into the landing now and we can go into the bathroom. I really love the angle of the bath in there. I mean, it's taking up way too much space, but it does work. And the final room takes us into the master bedroom. Again, I really love this room. The natural colours are really calming. Again, this bedroom also has an ensuite, so all three bedrooms have ensuites. Now I really hope this is right, I'm going to show you some of the new items available. I believe they are new and they come with this house, although I'm not 100% sure. Because firstly it just seems odd that we don't have this carpet already. Maybe one of the colours is new or something, I'm not sure. But this wallpaper is definitely new, I do know that at least. And this natural stacked stone, interior and exterior walls appears to be new. Let's finish this video off with a bird's eye view of this house. You can see exactly what it looks like. Do I think this house is worth it? I definitely do. Even if you don't want to keep this house, you can always edit it a bit or edit it completely demolish and start it again but it's definitely cheaper to buy the house in its entirety than it would be to build it separately and you do unlock some new items in the process if you're interested in building your own multi-story house but don't know where to start make sure you check out my how to build multi-story houses video and if you enjoyed this video please like it and please subscribe to my channel I regularly post sims mobile videos I also have a blog, thegoaims.blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about Sims Mobile and The Sims Freeplay. Thanks for watching. Bye!